from April 2, 1968 to May 29, 1971, the Virgin Mary appeared weekly on average and especially around feast days on top of St. Mary's Coptic Church in Zaytun. This was a supernatural experience received by massive crowds for years. Our Lady of Zaytun, also rarely known as Our Lady of Light, was a series of apparitions of Our Lady that was reported to have occurred in the Zaytun district of Cairo, Egypt, over a period of two to three years. Before getting into the apparitions, there is something special about Zaytun. We all are familiar with the massacre of the innocents. When King Herod saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, became furious and he sent and killed all the male children in Bethlehem and in all that region who were two years old or under in attempt to kill the infant Jesus. Now when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, flee to Egypt and stay there until I bring you word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt and was there until the death of Herod. Coming back to the apparitions. So Zaytun is one of the locations where the Holy Family supposedly stopped on their flight to Egypt. Around the year 1920, a Coptic Christian named Taufik Khalil Abraham owned a spot of land in Zaytun. When he was about to build a hotel there in the place, the Blessed Virgin Mary visited him in a dream, requesting to build a Coptic church in her honor instead. If he did so, Mother Mary promised him to perform a miracle there sometime in the future. Taufik obeyed Mother Mary and in the year 1925, the Coptic Orthodox Church of St. Mary was completed. As Mother Mary promised, the miracle happened years later, beginning on April 2 in the year 1968. It was the evening of April 2 in the year 1968. A Muslim bus mechanic named Farooq Muhammad was working across the street from St. Mary Coptic Church in Zaytun. Suddenly, he and the garage attendants noticed a woman on the top of the church. They thought that the woman was about to commit suicide. So Farooq yelled up to her, Lady, don't jump. Soon by hearing this, a crowd gathered. Then after just a few minutes, the lady vanished. The lady they saw was a brightly luminous being. The police also saw it and said it was just some light reflecting in a weird way from a street light. But the crowd knew that wasn't the case. Then one week later on April 9th, the brightly luminous lady appeared again. Like the first time, the lady was present there only a few minutes and then disappeared. Then the people began to notice that it was the Blessed Virgin Mary. Mother Mary started to appear more frequently, sometimes staying around for hours at a time. The miraculous nature of the apparitions drew Egypt's full attention. These are the real photographs showing a brightly luminous being, the Blessed Virgin Mary, on the top of the church. The apparitions would begin with the ball of light gradually materializing and then taking the form of the Virgin Mary. One who saw her described Mother Mary as bright as a million suns and called her Our Lady of Light. In the apparitions, luminous doves moved swiftly across the sky, sometimes a number of 2, 7 or 12. There also came sweet fragrance and flashing lights. Many miraculous healings have taken place, healing from blindness, polio, paralysis, cripples, cancer and terminal illness. In all these apparitions, the Virgin Mary did not speak or deliver any verbal messages. Mother Mary maintained an attitude of prayer, bowing down towards the cross and blessing the people. Mother Mary was seen gliding slowly about the domes of the church, sometimes standing at the same place for two to three hours and sometimes kneeling before the cross on the roof. Mother Mary acknowledged the people's presence by smiling at the crowd and blessing them with her hands. Mother Mary wore a long white and blue robes and a veil of bluish white light. The people could see the garments moving in the breeze. Mother Mary had a dazzling crown on her head with a halo of bright light. The people sometimes saw Mother Mary with infant Jesus, sometimes with the 12-year-old Jesus, and other times with Saint Joseph, and other times carrying a cross or an olive branch, a symbol of peace and unity. One Coptic priest noted that there were rays of light coming down from her hands, like depicted in the miraculous medal. The Blessed Virgin Mary was witnessed by hundreds of thousands of people, including Copts, Catholics, Protestants, 
Muslims and even secular Marxists. The Vatican made no official statement on the apparitions, for the apparitions was taken place in an Coptic church. The Coptic church investigated the matter and decided that the apparitions was true and worthy of belief. The civil government as well concluded that the apparitions were real. At one point, the authorities even investigated by cutting off the power supply for a 15-mile radius, creating a blackout. Yet, Mother Mary continued to appear. It was also said that the years 1968 to 1971 in which years Our Lady appeared is the same time frame when the legalization of abortion took place. This opened doors to the mass slaughter of the innocents worldwide, just as Herod's slaughter of the innocents at the time of Jesus. The apparition continued for a few nights each week for the next three years. People from all around began to come to St. Mary's in Zaytun to see the miraculous apparitions of Mother Mary. The crowds grew larger and larger. At one point there came 2,50,000 people to see Our Lady. So this was the history of the apparitions of Our Lady in Zaytun. When I googled Virgin Mary, I always came across these pics of Our Lady of Zaytun. I was very curious to know the history. And finally, today I got to know the beautiful history and shared it to you. Thank you so much for watching.